It is beautiful. I think I could grow almost as fond of these woods and hills as you have, Charlotte. Lizzie, mm. we have been here three weeks and already we have dined at Rosings Park six times. I would never have expected it to be so many. No, nor I. My dear! Maria! Cousin Elizabeth! <laughs> Mr. Darcy has arrived at Rosings. And with him, his cousin, Colonel Fitzwilliam, the younger son of the Earl of Matlock, and the gentleman of Mount St. Us, the greatest honour. They're coming to call upon us at the parsonage. When, my dear? Even now, Mrs. Collins, even now, they're hard upon my heels. Make haste, make haste! I think this must be due to you, Lizzie. Mr. Darcy would never have come so soon to wait upon me. You're mistaken, Charlotte, for I know he dislikes me as much as I do him. Make haste, make haste! I'm delighted to make your acquaintance at last, Miss Bennet. At last, sir? Well, I've heard much of you, and none of the praise has been exaggerated, I assure you. I can well believe that. Mr. Darcy is my severest critic. I hope we shall see you frequently at Rosings while we're there. I'm fond of lively conversation. Well, this you do not find at Rosings Park. <laughs> well, my aunt does talk a great deal, but seldom requires a response. My friend there speaks hardly a word when he comes into Kent, though he's lively enough in other places. Nobody plays, nobody sings. I believe you play and sing, Miss Bennet. Oh, a little and very ill. I wouldn't wish to excite your anticipation. Well, I'm sure you're too modest. But any relief would be profoundly welcome, I assure you. Can you tell me why Mr. Darcy keeps staring at me? What do you think offends him? I hope that your family is in good health. Thank you, yes. My sister has been in town these three months. Have you never happened to see her? No. No, I have not had that pleasure. Mr. Darcy, now you see you're not the best of friends. Well, I'm very surprised to hear that. Why should you be? I always believe in first impressions, and his good opinion, once lost, is lost forever. So you see it as a hopeless case, is it not, Colonel Fitzwilliam? <laughs> 